Well, I know that um, you know we, we hear now proposals to lower personal and corporate income taxes. Now, but my take on the matter is that piecemeal proposals of uh, lowering personal income tax, uh, personal and corporate income taxes are not advisable because I'm afraid that there may be unintended consequences on revenue generation on our fiscal standing and on our economy. Yes, those proposals are, are well-meaning and they are popular, but there's got to be uh, an incisive study. Uh, we must be aware of this possible consequences on the overall economy, its impact. So it, it would be good to really consult the, um, the business sector, to consult the um, economic cluster, our fiscal managers in respect to that. I would hope for comprehensive tax reform or comprehensive transformation, tax transformation code rather than piecemeal uh, proposals for the lowering of personal income taxes. Siempre is always the ideal setup is progressive taxation. We, we uh, should tax heavily the, the very rich people and consider income tax cuts for the middle class and of course the poor should be exempt from, from taxation. That, I don't think that can be, can be progressive, but uh, uh, let's see what other kinds of taxes need further uh, adjustments. So ma'am, um, is tax reform in line with your vision of governance when you, if ever you be elected a senator? It will be considered. Of course, it's not my area of specialization because my area of specialization and focus is the just, justice system, particularly the criminal justice system. And, and then of course human rights. And when we talk about human rights, we also talk about social justice issues. And therefore, the tax reform is quite key.